like one of those underdog movies. The, remember the replacements with Keanu Reeves? Yeah. That's Misery. And he collects like all these discarded pros. And of course, Matamba Man being the most famous, a.k.a. Toilet Bro, yep. as they call him here in China. That will be my nickname for him for this entire cast, FYI. Okay. And that's an Necro. That's his hero, right? It is. He's still ready to play his heroes, the green heroes, as they say. And now your PSG LGD, you see Chaos. <laughs> as you said, they, they can group up pretty easily once oh, Thunderlord yeah. and Sven get their stuff. What do you do to stop that? Oh, well, I don't know if this Naga can be core anymore, right? Because th these are three cores that actually destroy Naga. Uh, you you cannot play this hero as the one here. Who do you replace as the core, though? You make, like, Shadow Demon or Jakiro cores? I mean, it's not... I mean, I... I psh, we'll see. They obviously think Naga's stronger than we do. I love this pick because they needed that damage. Uh, it's a e early BKB hero. Looking at the Chaos lineup, it's necessary. And it's one of the best heroes against both Underlord and Necrophos just because of the crazy high magic damage burst you have early game. I think this game for LGD is entirely in the hands of maybe. Like, if his lane doesn't go really well, I feel like there's going to be this, like, 20, 25-minute period where Chaos, you actually just can't kill anyone. Right? Yep. Like, you actually just can't kill any of them. And you do have Shadow Demon against Necro, which is something that I think is a really hard matchup for Necro because the ult from Shadow Demon yep. continuously purges you, so you can't go Shroud. Can't Yul's, can't do anything. Yeah, you can't. You pretty much have to buy a Force Staff if you want to buy, like, a defensive item against mm -hmm. uh, Shadow Demon. And that never feels amazing. I think hood this game is necessary. Yeah. Because that's not purgeable. It, that's one of the weirder things about Dota is that, like, hood and pipe are not dispellable. But Crimson, but Crimson is. Guard is. Yeah. Which just doesn't seem right. Like, in, I don't know. I think it used to be the opposite. Are you trying to tell me there's some inconsistencies within <laughs> mechanics of Dota? No. 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 Absolutely not. Uh, I, I favor, you know, I favor Chaos Esports, like, having an easier executing draft, but I think Shadow Fiend's the type of hero that could easily just take over the game, yeah. but he's also the hero that, like, if he dies once, his entire momentum well, is, like, doesn't, crushed. Doesn't he crush Necro, though? Like, you're the one being, yeah, you know, Grand Grant's the one yeah, being yeah, expert Yeah, yeah, ask yeah. Oh, yeah, Shadow Fiend is a lot easier to play, and then you just hit back to the jungle, and guess what? You're level 10 at nine minutes in, and all of a sudden you have a decent game. All right. All right. What build does he... You think I, I feel like you got to go with that old school, maybe the Artezi no of old, you know, the Yul's Blink I was early say, game. It's the Yul's Blink, I think. Uh, I really like that build here, especially against a hero like Et Sven. It, honestly, all of the Chaos heroes are a bit annoyed by Yul's, and they also have no instant disables, so mm -hmm. he's very elusive if he has Yul's Blink. Like, how do they actually get on top of him until maybe Sven Blink, and even then, if you've got fast fingers, you can react. Your point at something there, Kyle? Sorry, I thought that was like 6,000 games. For, <laughs> I thought it was like the personal record. I was like, Jesus. It's a, it's a lot of games. And guess what? We hop into it, our very first game over here. And we've got PSG LGD on one side. We've got Chaos Esports Club on the other. And we've seen it. You, you think both teams, Chaos maybe has a little bit easier to execute, but obviously the Shadow Fiend has a good game, roams mm -hmm. around. You know, you, you have a Shadow Demon, one of the best heroes, it feels like, for shutting down. And we'll so see. Good. I got butterflies in my stomach, man. This is it's my favorite part of the year. It's just so cool that we're actually going to see good Dota, you know? All year, teams lose, teams win. They make excuses. Their fans make excuses. Oh, it's a new roster. Oh, they're not trying. No, it's a $35 million tournament. This is it. This is the this best is you got. The, whatever it, you do Kyle. here, this is how good you are. You yeah. know what I mean? No, it's true. I mean, even the players know that, right? Like, sure, you can win a couple majors, but would you rather, you know, you ask players, like, would you rather win two majors, three majors, or a TI? Everyone's going to yeah. say TI every single time. So I'm pretty sure if you said, hey, you can win TI, but you'll never be able to play Dota again, they're still going to take TI. Yep. Well, whoopsie there. Sorry about that misery. We'll make sure to get your chat lines back on. And this Elder Titan is a hero, right? It's the first overall pick. W what's he going to do? Is it still the same? You just stack the the, yeah. the camp and just mm -hmm. spear it, run at people? What uh, I think he is uh, – Fog was telling me he was picked a ton in pubs in the lead-up yeah. to this tournament. I assume it's just probably for the same reason he's always strong, right? Just damage amp, strong laner. Yeah. You think it's only dire because it's usually easier to do, like, the triple stack. Uh, it's definitely better on dire. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering because – Something I had never considered for a long time, but when you talk to pro players, you hear, like, there's some heroes that are first pickable on Dire or Radiant and yep. not the other. I re for the, to that point, I think uh, SF. Dead. Well, Is he dead? Misery, yes, he wow. will go down. FY and Chalice. They chase him. You talked about the Ogre. This guy has a lot of damage and an Orb of Venom. That's actually such a cool build going uh, Bloodlust level 1. Did he buff FY as well? And then they just, nah. 
Oh, but Bass, that's so cool. They're just going to gonna push this lane. Yeah. Yep, a lot of four positions have been running or getting that early Basilius. Yep. We've been seeing that more and more, just Basilius. What happened, right? Uh, obviously, people stopped picking it up. Oh, Aquila's not here. It's Dude, trash, but it still gives you damage, look, right? Yeah, a ton of damage. It's eight. eight. I'm fairly certain that's the most damage you can get unless you go, um, like, three of the... Uh, you get nine when you go three of whatever your stat is, but you know what I mean. Three of those three plus items. Well, here it is. Shadow Fiend going up against his Necro. 4-0 versus 4-0. Yeah, this gets much better for SF as he gets levels, specifically 3 and 5. Yep. A Necro hero that always wins this, the sustain battle, so really the only heroes that are good against him are ones that can kill him, and SF's triple raise like with yeah. a single stun is yeah. definitely enough to do so. We already see pulls happening, contesting all these camps bottom. Two pretty tanky boys on, on Chaos' side. And yeah, X Nova a little bit out of position. He's gonna get it canceled. Level two or skill nut pit of malice that might get him a kill here. Milan trying to chase. 312 movement speed versus 292. Holy and he sound. should be able to yeah, he wasted a salve. Will he use a tango? He's just gonna try to get out. Oh, One no. more. Oh, he eats into him, and that's all his tangos as well, it looks Dude, like. So that's so much gold. It's like two hundred gold he just spent. It was three tangos, yeah, and a and a full salve. And a TP. Yep. Ouch. Well. Wasn't good for chaos. It is down bottom and then up top though, Ogre nine and two versus Sven's five and zero. And it looks like he's going phase boot stick. You think it's just phase boots Midas. That seems to be the ogre build. Yeah, I mean it's pretty much every non agility hero likes to go phase Midas. The combo like the phase is just so strong in lane. Pretty much every hero can benefit heavily from the six armor. And then Midas is like if you don't have any other item that changes the way you can play, then yeah. Like if you're gonna win the lane anyway, why not just get a Midas? You a Midas guy, Brian? Do you or BSJ? You you pick it up on every hero? Yeah, pretty much. Part. Anytime I can in this patch. They're like just turning it around. Misery. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. are. They were going on Chalice, and they're like, "Let's kill this you, guy." You we <laughs> got the full duration Ink Swell plus the stun, and he just lives. And he so. just has ten armor with the bat. Yeah, they, <laughs> two points <laughs> in bloodlust. Look at that. He's maxing bloodlust. I was not sure like what the skill build is for Core Ogre, but he's showing it here. You get bonus attack speed for yourself compared to others. He's at fifty attack speed, level two. Too bad. He just wants to. You know, whop on yeah. some people. They forgot the cardinal rule, which is never go for the ogre. Even never. if they kill him there, it's like you you would have had to use so much. Misery would have had to heal, even if he didn't die. He's rough, so it seems like both the off lanes here are going reasonably well for both teams. Meanwhile, middle, you talked about Necro is still doing well. Very, very good early. Shadow Fiend, once he gets those higher level of raises, can start clearing out the jungle a lot easier. I thought this matchup would go better for SF by this point, but... He has the Ring of Basilius on the Tumble Man, which I like a lot, because you're low armor against the SF, and it but also helps you push the creeps. The concern I have is, like, you made a point about the huge timing for Chaos, right, where they get nigh indestructible, go high ground around 20, 25 minutes. The concern I have is that if it's not the Sven that's ahead, they not only will have issues hitting that timing, but also they're going to just not scale. Like, late game LGD will win this game. Yeah. And I feel like Chaos need to hit that timing to win, because you're not going to get into this like six lot versus six lot game and come out on top. If they're stacking, I'm not concerned about Sven. As of now, ET has not stacked any of these dire camps on the triangle. Weird, isn't it? Aren't you supposed to do that? Yeah, I thought that's what makes it enable. I haven't actually seen this hero myself recently, but in the past, that's what you tended to do. You'd have like mm. four stacks at that point, have like 200 damage in your spirit. Yeah, but but now, like, oh man, Exynova almost just gets one shot there by the Elder Titan. Top lane, there's a fight going on as well, but Milan, will he be the first one today? Pops his stick, poisons keep going out, and they will finally bring him down. Yes. That was really cool as well. Uh, X Nova ensured that Ame would get the kill, pop the poison early. early yep. Well, there you go. 1k lead already for LGD. Dude, this is what a way to start off TI for VT Faded. You know, first time here, and he just has an Ogre Jakiro in his lane. Dude, that you're just like, what do I do? Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> do I just not. go to the jungle now or later? I don't know. They are going to try to go in the. Look at it. They just don't do damage to him. He just he has 14 armor currently. I don't like this play 14. just because it's uh, 450 into the game, so you know if you commit onto him like this, he's just going to go Shrine right after. And you already had to use it on Chaos, so it's like, it's true. I don't know. It just it, I, I always like to time those types of all-in commitments to Shrines, and they're both going to do it, and I think this just benefits Ogre. He's already got that plate or chain mail, so as you said, 14 armor. Plus the bass. Even now. Yeah, which is just insane. He's going to go for the phase. I'm curious if he goes back for the Midas right away, or if, like, I think you do. There's okay. no reason not to. And it's just, with with the multicast working with it, it's just, it, it's such an insanely 
overpowered item, honestly, yeah. for the hero. If you consider, like, what what item makes him stronger, right? Yeah, like, like what are you gonna get, like a Vlad's or a it, drum or something, or a Meda like none of those items are like, okay, I'm a drastically different hero now. Ooh, middle. Ex Nova, he does get in range here. We'll see. Is level six to so level three in the races? There's gonna be one. There's gonna be two. Matoma is gonna throw out the ulti. He won't get a kill. It will delay him a little bit, but I don't think he's getting out of here. Ex Nova will secure the kill. Yeah. Nice and simple. There is an Elder Titan rotating over, but a little bit late in the rune will be bottom. Milan scoops it up. You can see like SF versus Necro. Any sort wow. of disable set up, He's triple race, done. He wasn't even level seven, was he? No. Yeah, just still not him. There's this feels rough. Feels like all the pressure right now is on Chaos. You see him hiding yeah. behind their tower here, even bottom lane, the Naga. Almost level six, just Farming it up, 34 the, and 4. They're, they're playing this game, like, I've, we've seen the script so many times, right? You secure the safe lane for a hero that can be left alone. Uh, you start roaming middle with your 5. The off lane are too heavy pressure, just annoying, mana spamming, just beasts. And your carry gets ahead where you shut down the enemies and eventually you, you secure an edge. We do have a rotation up top, and I haven't seen a Radiant. Yeah, he's standing right on top of the Radiant War. That's why I didn't see it. It will go away, and they'll see it. Well, doesn't look like they can really do anything here. They're just going to leave the Underlord down bottom. And now Shadow Fiend, he can just kind of yeah. do whatever he wants, it feels like. I feel like Keizu's played this role for every team. Like, his style of offlane is just to be sacrificed and chill. Yeah. And now VT Fate, he does take a little bit of damage. They are trying to go on this TVs. Ogre. And they're just going to run at him. VT Fate, he's in a little bit of trouble. Chalice, he tries to get the stun up, and he finally gets it on one. But there's going to be an easy kill. Overcomes the Shadow Fiend. There's a kill on Misery. It's a one for one. Milan will go for the nice. stomp, but X Nova will cancel. VT Fate, he TP'd to the bottom shrine, and he got the hell out of here. Great rotation for maybe. He knows they have early game damage issues. And you talked about that in the draft, and he's the solution to that problem. And I think that's a really important recognition of a mid laner is yep. like, what is your job? Is it to get big? Is it to contribute? Like, you know, what are you? Are you damaged? Are you stunned? Like, mm. in, in this game, he is their only damage. So if there's an engagement, he has to be there. Yeah, I'm surprised Chaos. I mean, they didn't have wards mid, so they wouldn't have known he was teleporting. But I'm surprised that they pursued like that. Again, onto the Ogre. You know, Chalice recognizes his role in this game. And he has no problem dying when you consider no. he has 15 armor, like 1,000 health. If he dies, there's going to be turnaround. All right, look at this Shadow Fiend, how quick he attacks with that Bloodlust level three. Oh, yeah. Well, they're just going to They got an Ogre. They're like, we can tank this tower, whatever. Shadow Fiend will be the one tanking it, though, and it looks like it will go down. Glyph is on cooldown, so see you later. Simple as that. Such a great rotation. They get so much out of that. Yep. Yeah. And it's, I love when the top tower is dead and I have an SF on my team because he loves playing that enemy jungle. And now all of a sudden you can ward the shrine and PSGLD gain three, four camps in the dire jungle. So now this Naga seems like her game's gonna be a lot easier as well. She can just farm her jungle while Shadow Fiend's elsewhere. We do she is out of lane, but she wants to be out of lane now, right? Mm -hmm. She gets more gold out of the jungle. I mean just compare her to the Sven. Sven's not even level six, Naga's already level eight. Yeah. And the main issue I said with Naga is that the rest of your team pays the price that you're farming. And since they've taken this early lead, early map control, that weakness is not a thing. And whenever I look at a hero and I'm like, that's their weakness. If that if that is not actually happening, this hero looks really broken. And uh, this is the type of game that I'm really scared to be playing against Naga Siren. Misery. And He's looking pretty dead. He does have the raindrop zone. Here's going to be a heal from a Man. They're actually just going to run at Chalice. He does have his ulti. Will that be enough to kill him right now? It is. They pick it up, 30 seconds dead is the Ogre. To be fair, Chalice has virtually no farm on the offlane Ogre comparatively to the Underlord this game. Yeah, but the cons uh, look at the effective oh, network, network, though. Like, what is a Vanguard on the Underlord? This is what it's effective for, sure. You can sit at a tower and play defensively, but there's absolutely zero offensive threat Keizu applies on the map. So sure, he has more net worth, but it's, is it useful? Does it help his team acquire objectives? I don't think so. It just scares me a little bit because I do think Naga kind of falls off, and if you have like this core ogre that isn't Dog. actually a core, you know Bro, what I mean? He, as the game what? goes on, he's gonna have a Midas like a billion gold. Yeah, I mean he's got 300 gold towards the Midas at 10 minutes. He might. Right. This might. This Grant, might be a real late Midas. Can you do man. me a favor and pull up the XP graphs? I believe that's is a that U. That's gold per minute. No, it's the other. Th it's like you gotta do well, it. It's like F1 left. or F2 or something. Yeah, you gotta pull up. Oh it's like yeah, I got you. It's like F6. F7, there you go. That's only a thousand. All right, not as bad as I thought. I, I for, 
Never mind. Well, we might as well hit over the net worth while we're here. 2,000, or a little less. It says 1,000 for PSG LGD here, but it does feel like... Well, I don't know. It says there's bounty rents here, but they're not. And VT faded. Uh, this is the guy, right? This yep. fan has to get farmed. He's going for a... The, the Midas still is that the with, is that what you do BSJ or do you think that's what he has to do? I think most games on Sven you go Midas. It's kind of like there's other games you can go Echo Saber first. I've seen like people what? still go Mask of Madness when, sometimes. Yeah, when you're this far behind, don't you have to go Mask? I, I feel like going Midas Echo is just w what's his timing going to be? When is his team going to win the game? Uh, I think you go Midas Echo and then you go BKB and kind of just dude. This you are the greediest carry player. I, I mean, clearly VT Faded agrees with me though, man. Apparently he's. If great you go here. Mask of Madness, I only go. I only go Mask if I actually think I can kind of participate with it, and I don't think I can this game because of my start. I I don't know. I, it's like a difference in philosophy between the two of us because I always feel like in this sort of game you need to try to be able to participate, versus because because now you have Keizu and VT Faded that aren't really able to do things. You have Matumba Man being your primary playmaker. I'm telling you, if I'm if I'm Chaos, I'm not telling you it's like a winning plan, but I think our best option is to like just scale and get to like 35, oh. 40 minutes Ooh. and just say that's a core ogre who's going to die to the ET st Okay. Yep. Like, they have a core ogre who has no farm. I don't know. I feel like if you out, if you weather the he's, Naga's he's iron. He's 200 gold behind the Sven. But the Sven is going to get farm. He... You know what I'm saying? I swear to Good. Dude, Sven's a nice recover hero nowadays. Are you doing then. this on par? Are you playing Devil's Advocate right I now? I mean, if if I just go with you, then that's like, yeah. I'm giving you chaos as, like, why they're doing this. I don't think they have a better option. I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying it's their best option. Like, I'm telling you, I've played a lot of Sven this patch, and if you're behind like this, you're actually just not a hero until, like, 25 minutes into the game. Like, the way they've nerfed his, his abilities, like, his longer cooldown on his ult, his stun being crappier at early mm. levels... The ability to participate on Sven just Do you go sucks. this build with the nerfs this time? Um, I usually go two points in Stormhammer, but it's like... It, it, I either feel like with the new nerfs to Sven that if I don't have a really good start, I actually am just not a hero in the, ga in the game. Like, that's what it feels Wait, like with Sven. In the past, it felt like even if I had a bad start, I could kind of just throw out some stuns, show up to fights, be kind of useful, maybe get kited, but tank a lot of damage. And nowadays, this feels like your only option and why I think the nerfs have hit Sven, because he's like less, there's like less game situations that the hero is actually useful. And this is why I don't like Necro against SF, it just feels rough, but they're actually protecting him really well. Yeah, he is taking some damage, he will get ulted by the Shadow Demon, they're going to try to turn around, look at this. PSG LGD not going to commit, and... That well, early four staff, man. Yep. You guys called it. I mean, you can't get Ewells because the purge would have been useless there, or would have made the Ewells useless. Yeah. And this is Matumba Man, after all. Man does know yes. his green heroes. He does. And well, Middle Tower does get harassed a little bit more by the Jakira, but it stays alive. We've seen five heroes by both teams here now. Yeah, they smoked up on the side of Chaos, so they, m they might have just been planning to ambush whoever was trying to push the mid tower and I think with Sven specifically if you lose that mid tower you lose a lot of control of your own dire triangle mm. and since you lost the top tower and you like you said it kind of the, 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 the dire jungle kind of belongs to LGD if you lose that mid tower you can see how much like priority they're putting on it mm. because they know they need to protect the Sven because of his build. Oh yeah. Th that's going to be a storyline for the entire event is just how do teams protect their mid tower. Uh, it's like one common thread in pretty much every pro player I talked to yesterday. Just discussing how that's become paramount in importance. Well, you got Bloodlust on one side, which is pretty nice for Ted. Dude, Bloodlusted Towers, when they get glyphed, yeah. destroy creep waves. Holy smokes. They destroy heroes, too, actually. Well, bottom lane is finally going to get pushed in here. We do. He's just been hiding now. Shadow Fiend has actually been here for about a minute and a half now, just hiding in this exact same spot. Hasn't moved. Yeah, they know His something's rotation. up. We go. Do we have another ulti? We do from the Shadow Demon, but there is VT Vade as well as Matumba Man here. Two strong cores as well as Milan. A good disengage and engage. They're just going to oh move forward God. immediately. Matumba Man takes a ton of damage. Milan will try to save him. Nice dodge there, but look at this. Looks like he will be able to make it out. No, the sleep catches onto both of them. Here comes the split. Will it be enough? Nope. Won't hit onto anyone, and they might just turn it on the Sven. There's going to be a stun. It will be multicast. Net, right click, right click. Yep. And I love, did you see how they set that up too? Where they, like, no one's getting in melee range of the Sven. They kind of yeah. just concaved oh. around him. Ooh, in and middle lane. Yeah, it's FY gets it. Milan cannot deny it. So, ton of team gold there. And they get both top bounty runes for free because of the map control they've acquired thanks to the top tier one going down so early. Yep. It's just so cool. And this, this is the thing, you know.
it's not about the Sven's timing to me as much as it's his comparison to Naga. I always feel like if you don't have BKB by the time he's picked up Manta Defusal, like, wh what do you actually do to play Dota anymore? I agree. I, I'm saying their best option. I never said it was good. I'm in I, agreement. I'm in agreement. Backtracking. That's no, supposed to be my I've job said on this whole TriCast time. PSJ. I've said this whole time that I'm like, this is why they're doing it, but it's not I'm like... I'm literally looking at your notebook. I, I mean, is it your, better than Rich's notebook? Hello Kitty notebook, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my Hello Kitty notebook. Yeah, I mean, when you're this like far behind in map control uh, as a team like Chaos is, you just have to force, like, brute force this tier 1 tower. And I like how LGD... Basically force them to come back as four heroes. That first like shutdown is really important. It delays this tower by a solid like minute and a half, and then it also makes the enemy team have to bring this next like level of commitment to get the tower again. And it just buys you so much time. Now they're pretty much getting a tier two tower top, or at least forcing chaos to respawn. Now they're farming like two thirds of the map, while pretty much chaos only has their triangle and bottom lane. Look at even the ogre. He does his Midas is flying out now. He about didn't take the ninety GPM. Wow. Took the cast range. Gotta gotta cast that Midas from farther, save time, you know. Bottom lane might be seeing next. No, nope. They do miss the ET splitter, but they still get the Necro Scythe on him, so he's dead for a long time. Yeah. I'm just this PSG time is gonna be insane. They're gonna smoke forwards with a BKB on SF and a Manta Defusal Naga, and they're just gonna walk at Chaos. And they they have so much uh like L I call it LRC, which is long range cannons. They uh don't actually need to close gaps to find kills. They just throw out a bunch of spells. They do have a lot of poke, which is good against heroes like Underlord. Yeah. Yeah. I love poke against these slow-moving chaos cores. They don't have much burst on that side either, so very easy to kind of play cat and mouse throughout the team fights. So you think we're pretty much just waiting for the PSG LGD, this defusal is BKB, and then they're just going to take, they're just going to start marching down lanes, or is that what you think? Y not necessarily. It, it's more that I mean they will welcome conflict. Whereas okay. now, the PSGLG, they take a good fight. Chaos, you try and dive a tower, push an objective, sure, we'll battle you. But as soon as they get to that point, that power spike, all of a sudden they're the ones getting aggressive. They're looking for fights, and that Chaos map will start to shrink on them. That's what it, it already kind of feels like that. You see four heroes pretty much around that middle lane. Meanwhile, it's just, well, there goes Dark Green. He's gone. Kezu. Coming with the team. Has his hood now. Hood Vanguard. Hey, can we check in on the Sven? Yeah, I would love to. The, the, my concern is, again, you've got three cores on Chaos. Their draft's predicated on getting ahead, staying ahead, death balling. But they are they have three cores that are just watermelons. Uh, they're not really trying to get aggressive yet, even though they're going to hit this mid tower. I don't know if it's going to work out for them. Let's see. Here comes Radiant on over. Tower, is it about 300 life? There's going to be the next TP. All five Radiant heroes are here. Can X Nova find anyone now? Yeah, you've got to get the hell out of here. Oh. <laughs> VT Faded wanted no part of it. Even with the DD, he's, he's back nah, in I'm the jungle. I can farm the jungle quicker with this. <laughs> See ya. This is a free ult on the jungle creeps. You know, yep. like, I'm getting that extra Didn't bonus have to waste damage. It, no. Exactly. Oh, so value. And there's the Diffusal Blade on the Naga. What are we at? 18 minutes in. Had a, a, a tough, like, first level or two, but then they got that kill, and then pretty much felt like Naga just hasn't looked back. Yeah, I thought the lane matchup might be better for Underlord. I, I just feel like Naga doesn't do anything to you, but I, I guess like once the lane kind of, the laning stage kind of dissipates, you just hit jungle creeps and defend the tower. Like Underlord doesn't like dive you and kill you or anything. So, FY, he's got a full Yules as well. Yeah, FY is super farm. That was something I was gonna mention is that when you have this like ogre type off laner, he's never showing in lanes and clearing. So you have these like Lina, Jakiro type four positions that yep. just clear ways for you, and they get really farmed. Actually, such a great three four combination. Oh, he's. <laughs> As the four step Milan comes over, there's gonna be the BKB used, and oh my goodness, Milan gets destroyed. Will they save Matuma, man? He will try to run. No, there's gonna be the net. He will go into ethereal form, but will he make it away? He's gonna get Ice Path. There's a multicast. So much damage, they can't do it, but he will make it out. They're gonna get Soulbound together. There's gonna be a stun. But it, the spacing is so good. Oh, oh no. Do we have <laughs> FY? Here's the Ice Path. This is going to be a three, maybe four. No, only hits onto one. It's actually onto Misery. And they do get Matumba Man down. Chalice is kind of in deep, but Misery, he's in deeper, even though he's by his tower, goes down. Kezu, he's going to try to run, but VT Fade, he's going to go down. This is going to be a team wipe, I believe. There's going to be a Yules in the air. FY, throw another Ice Path, my friend. And here come the hits. One, two. He's trying to survive. There's a buyback. Grimstroke going to try to help out a little, but he goes down. They're actually diving another, and it's Milan. 
people sleeping on this PSG LGD. Do you see how well they're playing these fights? Dude, the that movement. Was perfect. Yeah. Everyone is spaced so that they can get their spells off, but nobody's within like three, four hundred units of each other. They're just never committing them. Yeah, they don't. They don't have to. Yeah. They just spam spells off cooldown. These low CDs. I, I love the way this draft comes together. Yeah. And if you're chaos, the problem with your lineup is that now that you're behind, you have absolutely zero mechanic to get back into it, with the exception of the enemy making a mistake. Absolutely, they pretty much have to rely on LGD like diving high ground when they're not strong enough to do it. And you've already, if they're, if they're not diving tier twos, they're not gonna dive high ground, right? Like th they're proving that they understand that you have these like underlord necro heroes that they're never gonna turn the fight on you unless you bring the fight to them actually, you know? And that's Ooh. like, you see so much disengage items being built by chaos, but disengage doesn't matter if you can't actually turn the fight at any given point. And I feel like there's no- Midas? Yep, might. Please, cat, cat, oh. BT faded. Please, oh. the siege creep. Grant's OCD I'm, is just I need it. triggered right now. Matches, you're losing a lot. Of, I mean, the siege creep's just here. Why isn't he actually not minus it? And now he might just oh. dot. Nah, it's uh, it's only one here. He will pop the minus there. Thank God. The value Jakira ult no. lingers on creeps now. Yep. And now 10k. And I mean, you talked about that last fight. It's dude playing Naga in your head has to feel so good, right? You don't have to like save your ulti for one time. It's like, hey, you use it when you want, offensively, defensively, and right, they just get a perfect three man ulti off. I'm just gonna chase. Back up. Yeah, you're seeing just PSG LGD, they will not overextend here. And it gets it. denied. And this is so cool. Like, Ogre, you get the Midas, and all of a sudden it's like, all right, guys, I don't need creeps anymore. Uh, I'm going to go run at heroes, and I'll buy team fight items. And here we go. He does run. That's actually a four step forward by the Necro. It's going to be an aggressive one onto this Ogre. But he doesn't care. He just knocks off the silence. And now they'll slowly siege, as you said, ignites liquid fires. They just have to run away from all this damage over time. Two man stomp, though. Doesn't play anything will come out. The Ice Path will just zone him out. It's going to be Kezu. Pit of Malice goes down. Can they fight this? They don't have their Sven. Looks like they're trying Matumba though. Guess what? Oh my goodness, the damage there. W coming out from Shadow Demon. There's gonna be an Earth Splitter. We'll only hit onto one of them. Stun comes out, and this is just, I don't even know if this is a fight. We're just watching him go back and forth here. Fully healed is the Underlord now. This looks like a punching bag. You're just hitting him over and over, and he's just oh. bouncing right back. Eventually, it, oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Can they tie it oh, here? Oh shit. And he gets it off onto three of them. There's going to be one kill. There's yeah. going to be two kills. There's going to be a third almost. There it is. There's going to be another. And oh, oh my Oh, but check goodness. out the bottom lane. I'm going. Sven this, Midas. He definitely, oh, this is the BSJ Sven guide. Yeah. Right, right here. here. In the flesh. Farm, farm, farm. And when you lose the game, whose fault is it, BSJ? I mean, my team fed relentlessly. Over and over again. Yeah, what am I supposed to do when my team's just feeding 4v5 like this? Yeah. And I believe I told them not to fight, sit in base, <laughs> and they're just out there dying <laughs> over and over. But in all honesty, like... This is a clinic. Yeah, this is a clinic. That looked like... This doesn't look like baseball. That looked like t-ball. The ball was placed on top of the pole, and he just had all the time in the world on maybe just you got to use a him. more European Sorry. friendly analogy, a penalty kick. A penalty kick. There yeah. you go. There you go. In soccer? Yes. Football. Uh, I, know, I was just trying to trigger you. There. Sorry. Okay. Well, he's almost got his BKB on Sven, so I'm telling my team I'm almost online. I've got it now. I'm ready to fight. We didn't need that Rax anyways. Yeah. I've got cleave. I can always <laughs> cleave the creeps down if The only needed. problem is they give less gold, but I have the Midas, so yeah. I can still get as much gold from these creeps. I mean, this is it, right? Like, you need to take a good fight with this BKB, like a perfect yeah. fight. And you're, what, 16,000 gold? Well, here we go. Oh. They're going to... Oh, okay. The smoke. But it's they know. They, he's uh. like, <laughs> X-Nova's going to just die here. Puts himself under, no one's gonna come help him, but. You better scythe him. Oh, he doesn't have it. Still throws the ulti out, just annoying that crow a little. Well, and what's that called, BSJ? That is called a crucial kill. It's tactical feeding, man. Oh, come tactical on. feeding, okay. We're playing Dota Jeopardy. I was just, I, I'm, I'm really trying to, like, say the opposite of what you're trying to get me to say. Why? You're killing it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And there's, all, okay, when just this, when this Nagi gets hard, Feels like, you know, now they can just five man down the lane. I mean, they don't have to, but look at this. Maybe he won't even get the heart. He's going to try to split. Will the stun go off? It will. There's going to be the sleep, though. And guess who's coming on over? It's the Shadow Fiend again. They don't want to go in quite yet, though. They don't have the Shadow Demon. It's going to be the BKBUs now. Oh, my goodness. Misery with that death on the Shadow. He just gets blown up. I love when you get to go death on SF. It's so greedy, it's but it's so, it's much so good, armor. too. Yeah, it is. And he also took the Presence Aura effects buildings. Yep. So you are Dude, I love that. I'm surprised more SFs don't do it, actually. I mean, who? it was Gambit for Gambit, a while, right? Yeah, they, yeah. Just, yeah. they were just owning for a while with that. It's a, this is a really cool concept. Because you, 
when you're ahead like this, Chaos, like, they're still trying to get their own, like, offensive items online so they can finally play aggressive. You look at the armor, like, VT faded with, he's gonna go down to, what, like, three armor with the Deso plus the Presence? I'm gonna do some math here. It's gonna he be one dude. armor. Thank you. Yeah, it's That's not a lot of armor for a guy who's wearing a full set of armor yeah, and has a bulwark, true. I believe. Is he part wolf? Because I heard they don't need armor. Who said that? Lycan. Who's that? What do you mean, who's that? Literally the hero voice oh, of Lycan. Oh, I haven't seen him in so long. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. I, thought you, I thought you were saying, like, lie can. Like, I can oh, lie. Oh. Like, I have no idea where you're going with that. Oh. <laughs> Getting out almost a butterfly in the Shadow Fiend, so we're getting our we're getting our tier five items up here on the Shadow Fiend. Oh, now three times multicast at Midas. Look at his money. Almost has a Lotus. He has a four staff now. Yeah. I As I said, Kyle, he's gonna get the Midas. He's gonna scale with the farm. <laughs> and he's good. <laughs> <laughs> he's in. And he's there. I hope that casting his three will transfer my curse. That'd be excellent. If all of a sudden, I mean, well, I guess you're always wrong, but it's just it's just not as funny. Yeah, that's true. So wh why aren't they going just straight into Roche? Is it still, mm -hmm. like, too scary with the Elder Titan and the Sven you BKB? Don't or you don't need to. Okay. Yeah. You just rather farm? Getting killed as, like, forcing a five-minute engagement you don't have to take is, like, the only way LGD loses yeah. the game. This is that part of the game where all the top, like, the flies, the crows, the puppies, they say, uh, guys, they can't beat us anymore. And if we don't mess up. Exactly. Yeah. We can lose, but they can't win. Well, this is going down quick. You got a Solar Crest now on FY, the Deso, and see you later, Sven. Or not Sven. Hope he's not dying right there. Yeah, they basically made a movement there that pushed the bottom lane in yep. so that then somebody on Chaos had to respond to it. Then it gives them the 15 to 20 seconds they need to take Roche, and that just yeah. stirs up any possible way the enemy team could ever contest. They're, they're, they're playing like a, well, like a grandfather clock right now. It's so clean. Ooh, Yule's up. He does have the Force. But doesn't get it off. He's, he's just dead, I think. Is, is he? Well, he's still alive. And look at that. Four staffs out. They don't want to dive up wow. quite yet. But there's the, oh, oh boy, they're all God. here. Four of them get slept up. There's going to be the Macro Pirate Ice Path onto three of them. Oh, my goodness, they're all just going to get blown up. Misery, Kezu, they're both going to drop consecutively, and they're going to look for one more. It's VT faded. He will try to run BKB. He has one more second on it. He's going to try to juke to the left now, and they're just like, okay, see you later. Elder Titan instead will go down, and are they just going to go for the throne here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure Kiro. Like. Yep, you've got a heart. You have the butterfly. Not quite yet on Shadow Fiend, but it don't matter. They just and they do a lot of damage. Oh yeah, this, this was this was good. Yes, it was. LG PSG LGD. They are looking clean. I know coming in this event, right? I mean, obviously we we all regret it. We don't have to lie about it. Like people are saying, Yo, Vici Gaming is the top Chinese team. But after seeing this, obviously we haven't seen Vici yet. Does LGD have a case up there? Oh yeah. I mean, my power ranking would be RNG.